Hello and welcome to our demo. We are team GUI FriendDiv and we develop together with our industry partner eSolutions as software. First of all, we have a short description what our software is about. So GUI FriendDiv is a powerful, intuitive and efficient solution for comparing sequences of screenshots. And now we will answer the question, what can you do with GUI frame difference? And to do this, we will have a quick look at a use case. This is Mike. He's the Q&A tester of an automotive company. And he has two series of screenshots of an infotainment system. And each series of our screenshots represents one version of the system. And now he wants to compare the two versions of the system to find out differences. To do this, he first of all converts the series of screenshots into a single compact video file. And now each video file represents one version of the system. Okay, now he can select the two videos, first video one and then video two. And after that, he can click compute and display differences. And by clicking that, he will trigger our algorithm that computes the differences. And after that, after a short loading time, we are coming to our video difference screen. Here he can skip to the next frame. Then he can also skip to the next difference. He can also jump back and jump back to the last difference. Then he has the possibility to scroll through the timeline and everything that is marked green are edit screens, everything that is marked blue are deleted screens, and everything that is marked yellow, it's a video pixel difference, as you can see here. All right, and now with the help of our software, Mike, the QA tester, knows about edit screens, deleted screens, and frame differences within screens between the two videos. And this helps Mike to make sure that the software he is testing has a high quality. Now we have a quick look at the requirements we had. So like um, library one should be resource efficient because the requirement was that it has to run on the infotainment system of a car. Then we had a requirement that library two and library three should be multi-platform, so it should run on every desktop client. Then the UI should be user-friendly and easy to use. And we should apply a modular design, what means that library one and library two should be able to be used independently also without the UI. So now we have a quick look at our technology stack. We are basically using the Kotlin and the Java toolchain. And if you are interested what other tools we are using, you can pause the video and have a look at this table. Then we come into our architecture. So our software basically consists out of three parts. We have library one that generates the compressed frame video of the current and of the reference video. Then library two, the difference generator uses these two videos to generate the difference object file. And then we have the user interface and it helps to display the videos and the difference object file in a user-friendly way. So thank you for listening. And if you are interested in our project, please check out our GitHub page.